Have you ever had a friend who's the definition of slow? You drop a joke, but they smile awkwardly asking, uh, what, what, is, what is it again? Uh, I don't get it. I know it sometimes makes us lose our patience, but even if the world crumbles, we won't leave them behind and let them die because we love them a lot. And I hope we show the same affection to the creature who mirrors your slow friend. If you know what I'm talking about, give this video a thumbs up because in today's topic, we will highlight one of the most common inhabitants of a freshwater aquarium. A longer drum roll, please. Because it will take a ton of time to appear on your screen. Anytime now. Okay, all right, th there we have it. Ladies and gents, I present the snail, the king of all slow yet most helpful aquatic creatures for your freshwater tank. I know sometimes they get minor recognition to the point that we're unsure if they were chilling or crawling their way to heaven. That's why today we'll educate ourselves on different ways on how to tell if our snails are dead. Only here at Aquarium Store Depot. Some snails don't look very appealing, but all of them are incredibly awesome in many ways possible. In addition to looking lovely in a fish tank, aquatic snails are excellent algae eaters and tank cleaners. They remove uneaten food and debris from your fish tank that would otherwise pollute the water, and many eat algae. The snail makes a great cleanup crew member. Snails can be kept as pets, however, there are drawbacks. If you've ever owned a snail, you're likely aware of how often they are dormant for extended periods of time. However, a dying aquarium snail may appear to be sleeping if you don't notice it for a while. That sounds a bit concerning, so how would I know if the snail's dead or just hibernating? Mystery and Nerite snails frequently go inactive in aquariums for days. A snail that is inactive can be distinguished from one that is dead by looking at its shell. A deceased snail's shell is discolored and has lost all its weight and liveliness. The snail's slime keeps it stuck to surfaces even when it's sleeping. However, deceased snails don't have to cling to slime. Thus, they usually float away from any surface. In any event, please don't throw your snail away too soon. Living snails do float to the surface. To help you maintain your calm instead of panicking whether your snails are dead or just resting, I'll be breaking down the six signs you can observe to see if they're still indeed alive. Let's start off this list with our first option. It wouldn't be bad if you do a smell test frequently. The results from the smell test are the most accurate. That's why it's the first option on our list. Pull the suspected dead snail out of the tank and take a sniff to find out whether you think your snail is dead. Decomposing snails quickly release ammonia and emit a strong odor similar to rotting food. I also suggest monitoring the water in your tank to avoid an ammonia spike that would necessitate a quick water change after removing the dead snail. The second possible way you can perform is examining the snail's body. If humans were required to do an annual physical examination to determine the current state of our health, the snails need it as well. Take a close look at the snail's body and shell. A snail's body contracts inside its cover and begins to degrade once it dies. If you can't see the body inside the shell when you look at the entrance, the snail's probably dead. Additionally, a dead snail feels incredibly light in your hands as it has nothing inside. Going third is by checking the trap door. This is a good choice for larger snail species like mystery snails or apple snails. Pull gently on the snail's trap door. It'll resist you if it's alive. The snail is dead though if it opens readily. Now for the fourth way on the list, you may choose to try transporting your pet to a new area. And by area, I mean new environment. Moving a snail to a different environment is a reliable way to determine whether it's dead. Your snail can be moved to an aquarium or other container, whether smaller or large, as long as the water's been treated. Your snail will likely awaken to explore its new environment as a result of the change in scenery. Fifth is by checking if they'll react. Snails respond to specific outside stimuli, just like any other living thing. So you can cautiously tap the snail shell to check whether it responds. If it doesn't move, your snail may be dead. And lastly on our list is by doing a light test. Try exposing the snail to a light bulb or flashlight when holding it in your palms. The likelihood of the snail being dead increases if you see nothing inside or if the body is somewhat shrunken. We've already discussed how to determine whether your snail is alive or dead. But do we not know what causes them to crawl up to heaven? That's why I told you to stick with me until the end, because I'm about to drop the five possible reasons why your snail dies in its environment. Number one, one of the most frequent causes is old age. 
Snails and other species reach an age at which their lives expire. Because of this, if your snails have been in your tank for a very long time, you might also expect them to die due to their old age. Number 2. Because snails are susceptible to high levels of toxins in the water, your snails and some of your fish could perish if you fail to perform routine water changes in your tank and the water's ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate levels rise. Number 3. Snails require more than algae and debris to survive. If you don't feed your snails properly, they could starve. That's why it's recommended for every fish keeper who has snails in their tank to always keep an eye on snail activity as well, because they are living creatures who require attention from us. Snails feed the most at night, so if you want to keep them fed, putting a wafer at the bottom of the tank could help. Number 4. Copper, which is deadly to plants and snails, is a common ingredient in many fish treatments. Since the medicines for sick fish contain copper, you never use these medications in a display tank and only reserve them for use in a quarantine tank. And lastly, tropical snails require warm water. If the water in your aquarium is too cold, your snails could die. Uh, all the mentioned reasons for snails' death weren't observed, but I I'm pretty disturbed as to why it was floating in my tank. Ah, I see. It was disturbing for some to see their snail floating in the tank because it could look as if it's dead. However, there's an explanation for that. Numerous species of aquarium snails float, including mystery snails. Thus, good news, your snail might still be alive. Snails can float because they store air inside their shells. They do this in the wild in order to be carried by the river and travel more swiftly. Certain snail species in nature actively float on the water surface. This may be done to find better feeding grounds. When kept in captivity, snails float at the water surface, frequently upside down to grab dangling food scraps. Contrary to common belief, snails cannot survive only on algae. Be sure to supplement the snail's diet with veggies and other high calcium items to aid in maintaining their shells. If you're unsure if a floating snail is alive or dead, carefully lift it out of the water and sniff its shell. Continue to allow your snail to float if it doesn't stink, but suppose you have a dead snail, which we all hope you don't have. There are things you need to know to get rid of them because who wants a dead body in their garage, right? When a dead snail decomposes, the soft part usually melts away. The snail's shell will be very brittle and has a membrane within it while it's alive. All that's left are the shells after the snail's been dead for a while. Whether a snail is dead in the water or on land, you must remove it from the tank or area as soon as possible, especially if there's other snails or animals nearby. Make it a point to change the water if you notice a skip in levels from testing your water. The fish in your aquarium might occasionally eat the dead snail's body before it becomes toxic to them. If not, eliminate the deceased snail immediately to avoid contaminating the water. Shells don't decay and can enhance the attractiveness of your aquarium, especially if it's a larger snail. I suggest against taking them out of the water. Snail shells can be used for apparel and home decor in addition to being helpful as raw materials for many products. I know it sounds morbid to take advantage of a dead snail, but their shells are also highly aesthetically pleasing. By the way, if you happen to have nerite snails in your tank and you're thinking of why they would possibly die, it might be due to the following reasons on your screen. In the hobby of freshwater fish keeping, freshwater snails are extremely popular. And thanks to us, you now understand why. However, this video is only some of the information we offer, but we still have more. But here's the catch. You need to visit our official website at www.aquariumstoredepot.com, where plenty of information about snails is posted, such as tips on improving their health in the tank, knowing which type of tank mate suits them best, and plenty of frequently asked questions that we answer just for you. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot about our topic today. These snails have an incredible impact on your aquarium. If you find this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll see you next time on another fun and educational topic about our lovely aquatic animals only here at Aquarium Store Depot. Thanks for watching, fish keepers.